create this very shiny component that can be basically turned into everything. It can be a part of a bracelet or a necklace. It can be turned into an earring or a pendant. To create one component, you need the side stand needles by John James, bead weaving thread, 16 super duo beads or twin beads, size 11 delicate beads, size 15 seed beads, 8 pythons, size 4 mm, 2 faceted donuts, I'm not very sure about the size, it should be about 4 by 3 mm, 2 faceted donuts about 8 by 6 mm, and then 1 pin. First of all, place a stopping bead at the end of the thread and make a note on the bead itself. Pick up 8 super dual beads and carry all the beads to the end of the thread. Sew through all the beads several times to close the working around and to fix the thread on the beadwork. Without adding any new bead, sew through the second hole of a super dual bead. Pick up one delicate bead and sew through the next super duo. Repeat this step seven more times until the end of the round. Go outside from one delica, pick up three more delica beads and sew through the next one. Repeat this step until the end of the round. Go outside from the central delica that belongs to the group of three we have just added on the last round. Then pick up one bicon and sew through the central delica of the next group of three. Repeat this step seven more times until the end of the round. Go outside from a bicon, pick up one delica and sew through the next bicon. Repeat this step until the end of the round. Go outside from a delica of the last round. Pick up three more delica beads and sew through the next delica. Go on like this until the end of the round. Go outside from the central bead of a group of three we have just added on the beadwork. Then pick up one super duo and sew through the central delica of the next group of three. Repeat this step until the end of the round. Without adding any new bead, sew through the second hole of one of the super duo. And sew through the next super duo. You have to connect all the super duo beads together here at the top of the beadwork. Repeat this step several times. In this way, the basic pattern is completed. Now it's time to embellish the beadwork. To start, sew through the second hole of one of the super duo. Pick up two bronze beads, size 15, and sew through the next super duo. Repeat this step seven more times until the end of the round. Go outside from the first seed bead pick up one more seed bead and sew through the second one. Sew also through the super duo and the next seed bead. Then repeat the same step picking up another seed bead. Go on like this until the end of the round. Once the round is completed, sew through all the beads until you go out from a bicon. Pick up two bronze seed beads, size 15, and sew through the next bicon. Repeat this step until the end of the round. The last step is decorating the bottom of the beadwork. Sew through all the beads until you go out from this hole of a super duo bead. Then repeat the step we have just seen to decorate the upper part of the beadwork. The central part of the component is completed. Before tying off the thread, sew through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is well fixed on the beadwork. Pick up the pin and put the two donuts on it. Put the beaded component on the pin and add the last two donuts. With a round plier, bend the upper part of the pin. Hold the pin with the plier in this way, then bend the pin all around the plier until you get the shape. Now, using a second plier or your finger as you prefer, bend this part of the pin all around the core of the component. You can use this component in many different ways. You can also connect more of these components together, making a wrap wire loop at the top and at the bottom of the pin. For now that's all. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye!